The Life and Sad Ending of John Fogarty John Fogarty was born John Cameron Fogarty on May 28, 1945, in Berkeley, California, U.S. John Fogarty created monumental and mythic American music, drawing equally from rockabilly, country, and blues, all sounds associated with the South, a region far away from Fogarty's native Northern California. Fogarty developed a distinctive brand of rock and roll and a formidable songbook. After CCR suffered an acrimonious split in 1972, Fogarty didn't run away from that sound, but he did avoid the band's hits due to a lengthy legal dispute with his former record label, in a fight so nasty that it culminated with Fantasy Records suing the rocker for plagiarizing himself on The Old Man Down the Road, a fight he'd win. The Old Man Down the Road is the top 10 single that kicked off Fogarty's successful solo career. It arrived in 1985, a full decade after his last hit, Rockin' All Over the World. But the song and its accompanying Centerfield album pushed him back into the spotlight. He continued to be a force on the road, where he eventually worked old CCR tunes into his set lists. Born in Berkeley, California, Fogarty and his brother Tom organized the group that would become Credence as the Gollowogs in the late 50s. As Credence Clearwater Revival, they released nine top ten singles, all written by Fogarty, between 1969 and 1971, starting with the standard Proud Mary. They also scored eight gold albums between 1968 and 1972, all fueled by Fogarty's simple driving rock songs and his burly baritone intoning deceptively poetic and even political lyrics. Credence split up in 1972. Fogarty at first confused his considerable following by releasing an album of covers on which he played all the instruments under the name The Blue Ridge Rangers in 1973. This was followed by a formal solo album, John Fogarty, in 1975, and then silence for more than nine years while the artist worked out business problems with Credence's old label. But Fogarty returned at the end of 1984 with a top 10 single, The Old Man Down the Road, and a number one album, Centerfield. Eye of the Zombie was a less successful follow-up in 1986. Following its failure, Fogarty went into seclusion. For the next 11 years, he remained quiet, finally resurfacing in 1997 with The Blue Moon Swamp. The live premonition appeared just a year later. In 2005, he released The Long Road Home, the ultimate John Fogarty Credence collection, and its accompanying DVD, Long Road Home. In concert, the first compilation of its kind to feature both CCR classics and Fogarty's solo work. After a number of concert appearances, he released Revival in 2007. The album was warmly received, debuting at 14 on Billboard and earning a Grammy nomination for Best Rock Album, and Fogarty followed it in 2009 with The Blue Ridge Rangers Rides Again, a loose sequel to his bluegrass-flavored 1973 pseudo-solo debut. Over the next few years, Fogarty toured with regularity and launched the ambitious Wrote a Song for Everyone project in 2011, an album where he paired up with other singers to perform songs from his catalog. The record, featuring such stars as Bob Seger, Alan Jackson, Foo Fighters, Miranda Lambert, and Brad Paisley, was released in May 2013 and debuted at three on Billboard's Top 200. Fogarty celebrated his five decades as a professional rocker with 2019's 50-year trip, Live at Red Rocks, a concert captured both on film and record. It was shot in June 2019 and released that November. Fogarty spent the COVID-19 lockdown of 2020 revisiting his songbook with the aid of his children Shane, Tyler, and Kelsey. Performing under the name Fogarty's Factory, this crew released an eponymous EP on Fogarty's 75th birthday on May 28, 2020, which was followed by a full album bearing the same title in November 2020. Fogarty released a new song, Weeping in the Promised Land, in January 2021. Fogarty married Martha Pays in 1965 and had three children. They divorced in the 1970s. Fogarty met Julie Kramer in 1986 while on tour in Indianapolis, Indiana.
They married in Elkhart, Indiana on April 20th, 1991, and had two sons and a daughter. Kramer had a daughter, Lindsay, from a previous marriage. As of 2020, they live in Thousand Oaks, California. John Fogarty is 76 years old this year. What he definitely wants is a peaceful life. Tranquility, the years of working hard for the fire of passion are already a memory. And every time we open the notebook where what he has done, it makes us feel more nostalgic and nostalgic. Thank you for everything. John Fogarty seems to be anonymous and wants to live a peaceful life in old age. And what is worrying is that each of us in old age declines in health significantly. John Fogarty is no exception.